This is the Warden Hunter. It's a tunnel boring mining machine that's three times the speed of a normal tunnel borer. It has a built in ice bridge builder and it is minecart controlled. As you'll see in a few seconds here, it has no problem with falling gravel. You can even plow through hordes of mobs if it comes to that, but you gotta watch out for skeletons, of course. And it can stop in one block, which means you have the ability to actually mine the diamonds that you come across, which is unusual for mining machines of this speed. And since the machine is as fast as it is, you actually end up coming across quite a few mine shafts, geodes, and dungeons. But what it's really built for is to help you find the deep dark and hunt down the warden. Now it's time for the driving tutorial. To start the machine, you simply get into the minecart and move to the center. And then you can stop just as easily by moving to the right. And when you get out, you need to remember to dig this hole in front of both of the TNT dupers. If you don't, there is the likelihood that you will blow up. Right now, this is the best solution I have for this problem. It happens because when the flying machine moves forward, for the first two blocks, it doesn't actually throw any TNT in front of it. We run into this problem because TNT has a timer built into it, so you're always going to have to wait before it explodes. And my last bit of advice for anyone flying one of these is to keep your eyes peeled because sometimes blocks won't be destroyed at eye level and sometimes you'll come across pools of lava or water and you'll have to stop and clear it by hand. Next, let's get into the building tutorial. To build this flying machine, you're going to need to collect everything in my inventory. So pause the video here. These six items in my hotbar, however, are kind of your decoration items and they can be swapped out for other ones. Except for the terracotta, the terracotta needs to be terracotta, but it can be whatever color you want. And the boots have to have Frostwalker 2 on them. It doesn't necessarily have to be netherite, however. Next, you're going to have to decide which direction you're building your flying machine in. If it's going to be in the north or east directions, you're going to have to build a left-handed version of this flying machine, which basically just means that the minecart moves to the left instead of the right. And then in the south and west directions, you're going to just do the normal right-handed flying machine. And now that you have a direction picked out and all your materials collected, you can start digging this massive hole. It is 7 blocks deep, 13 blocks wide, and 38 blocks long. And if you want to build it at the bottom of the world where you're going to be finding the most diamonds, build it at Y level negative 53. I'm going to be honest, I have no idea how redstone YouTubers manage to make these videos in one take. I don't know how they remember where every single block goes. I'm going to do this a little bit differently. I mean, guys, it's 2022. We have technology. We have technology! Honestly, whenever I just do this, I use Lightmatica. It's a schematic pasting um, mod that you can use on vanilla servers and it allows you to just paste the entire build into your world. Um, I'm not gonna do a full tutorial, but you can configure it and rotate and get it to exactly where you want it to be. And then, oh, you can move it around using the stick. And when you've got it in the location you want it, which is gonna be in the center of this hole with one block gap on either side, but not the back, you don't have to worry about that. You can build it by hand or just paste it in. I will also be providing you guys with a world download so that you can download this and actually make a schematic of it. But I'm not completely abandoning you. I'm also going to be giving you a few tips on how to put this together when you actually do paste it into your world. So to activate the TNT dupers, you're going to need to assemble them like this first add your minecart it could be whatever minecart i'm just using the standard one for now uh, and then activate this piston and now this rail is powered but it's not 
um, lighting off the TNT. And so it's ready. And when we start moving it forward, it will actually dupe TNT. Next, when you add the ice to your flying machine, you're going to need to add all of these blocks as water. Oh, pretty much built itself there. And then you'll just have to add all the way down here and out the back. Um, actual ice. It doesn't. It doesn't have to be actual ice. You can use Frost Walker to create the ice, but uh, you need to have a strip down the center so that your armor stand here has something to slide along, and your armor stand back here has something to slide along. Another important thing I forgot to mention is you have to make sure that the water is flowing in the correct way. So it's an easy fix. You just got to get it to flow over both of these blocks and you can simply do that by adding a single block there and you'll do that on both sides and then you are ready to go. And that's everything you need to know to build this machine and hunt down the warden. And if you do actually build this machine, please show me because imagine if we see something like this one day. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole, diggy diggy.